Are you ready to rip and tear? In this video, I'm going to show you how to record, capture, stream, do whatever you want with Doom Eternal, even in Vulcan mode with OBS Studio. Let's get into it right after this. Our sponsor today is actually me. Over on my gaming channel, I'm going to have my full review of Doom Eternal, which will have spoilers and a lot of gore that isn't necessarily present in this video, but it includes collector's edition unboxing and some really just fleshed out thoughts. I had a lot to say about Doom Eternal, what it means for shooters, things like that. So go check it out. It will be linked in the description below. It's up on my second channel. I highly recommend you check it out. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to capture and stream it with OBS. All right, for the purposes of this tutorial, you will need two things. You will need to be updated to OBS Studio version 25 that just came out a couple of weeks ago. It has important fixes that we need in order to capture the game because Doom Eternal runs on the Vulkan render engine. There is no DirectX option this time. The game was made entirely with Vulkan through and through, which has historically been a problem to capture. And of course, you will need Doom Eternal itself. I've already got it running here over on my ultra wide monitor here. As you can see. Running in ultra wide, I have it in borderless window just so I can switch between here. Now, here is a good note. If you are playing on an ultra wide and wanting to stream, you don't have to worry about letterboxing or black bars for your viewers because the HUD is centered, which means you can fill in your canvas size. You still have all the information your viewers need to see full screen in a normal 16 by 9 canvas, but you get to play in ultra wide. And this is also nice because if you want to run performance stats that only you see, that's cropped off as well. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We have OBS open here on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and make a new uh, scene here. We're going to call this Doom Capture. And then we're going to go to Game Capture Source. Again, you need to be on the latest version 25 of OBS in order for it to capture Vulcan games. I'm just going to name the capture source Vulcan. We're going to go to Capture Specific Window. We're going to choose Doom Eternal. You can see here it detects our game. I, I specifically choose specific window. You can try any full screen application, but especially since I'm running it in borderless windowed, that doesn't work. I use specific window. You can set it up to capture a hot based on a hotkey or what have you. And then you can set up whether you want it to see your cursor or not. Now, I do not recommend using other overlays with Doom Eternal. Apparently, that causes performance hitches. And especially when you're capturing on top of that, you can run into some performance penalties by doing so. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. We have our source here. Now, typically, I'd say recommend I'd recommend right clicking, go to transform and fit to screen. And if you're running it on a normal 16 by 9 monitor, that's totally fine. However, as you can see here, we've got some letterboxing because I'm running on ultra wide. So what we're going to do here is go to right click, transform, edit, transform. We're going to come over here to bounding box type and we're going to check scale, check scale to outer bounds and that fills in the 20 the 16 by 9 canvas here so we're playing in ultra wide but viewers only see 16 by 9 and since we're playing with vulcan it's going to run really well so i'm going to go ahead and get some gameplay recorded here so you can see what this looks like Now that looked all fine and dandy and smooth and great, but you may not have such a smooth gameplay or at least capture. And actually there was someone in our discord server as I was making this video talking about trying to stream Doom Eternal and having some issues with it. Now their particular issues had to do with encoding lag, which has to do with your rendering or rather with your recording or streaming settings, which we will cover in a moment. But if you're getting rendering lag 
And if you're getting both rendering and encoding lag, then your encoding lag is probably caused by your rendering lag. That's what we're going to tackle here. For this, you need to be running OBS Studio as administrator. You find your shortcut, be it in the taskbar or somewhere else, right click it and click run as administrator. Then approve the user access control prompt and you're good to go. Alternatively, if you don't want to have to remember to do this every time, you can go to properties for your shortcut. Under compatibility, there's a checkbox to always run it as administrator. And then you have to approve the prompt every time you run OBS, but you're good to go. Also make sure you have game mode on because as of OBS 23, this helps OBS instead of hurts it. This implements as of version 24, a new GPU priority fix that allows OBS Studio to compete with your game and other programs for graphics card resources. This has been a big problem plaguing OBS for a long time. I've made many videos about it. And as of version 24.0.3, I believe they introduced this GPU priority fix that allows this to function and compete a lot better. And it's very important for streaming very intensive games like Doom Eternal. I have a full video about this fix if you want more details and why it works the way it does. Links in the description below for you to learn more. With OBS running as administrator, you're now able for OBS to compete with your games and to play significantly smoother. Now there will be a small performance impact on your game. That's inevitable when you're streaming with OBS. <laughs> you can't avoid it, uh, but that is it. Now if you want to talk about encoding lag, that's for our next section here. Next, let's talk about the streaming and recording settings you should be using. For recording, I recommend using whatever graphics card encoder is available to you should you have it. So in NVIDIA NVENC, AMD AMF, or Intel QuickSync, although you may have a hard time actually streaming if that's what's available to you. <laughs> but using NVIDIA NVENC, because Doom is a game that's going to have some particles and a lot of detail to compress. I recommend using a CQP value, which is basically a constant quality target that it tries to aim and hit. I recommend using that and targeting a CQP value with NVENC of 18. 18 or 14 if you want to go totally lossless, but the file sizes will get really big. 18 is kind of a good quality, but not too big of a file size. 14 is visually lossless for the most part, at least at 1080p, and probably a good idea. If you are streaming, however, this gets a little more complicated because, of course, if you are streaming to Twitch, you only have a max bit rate of 6 or 8 megabits per second. Uh, obviously, you want to run with whatever encoder works best for you. I've talked about this a few times. You can balance between higher quality if you can stream on something like x264 medium or something like that however doom especially on non-hedt chips on normal you know ryzen or intel chips doom is a very cpu heavy game so you might still end up only being able to stream it on invink in the first place because cpu encoding may just be too intense to pair with doom eternal with how intense it is so as always i recommend doing test stream recordings and seeing what performs best for you before going live to your audience. Do multiple test recordings of a couple minutes each. See if you get any dropped frames. Make sure you're loading in levels as well as playing games. See how it goes. Um, I'm going to say performance wise, you're probably going to have the best time with NVENC or whatever GPU encoder is available to you. But I wouldn't because on most systems that could handle maybe X264 medium on you know, a normal game probably can't do it while playing Doom. And so I'm going to have to say that you should maybe stick with InVink for this. Hopefully with this, you are now set up and ready to go to stream Doom Eternal. Whether you're on ultra wide or a normal 16 by 9 monitor, you're ready to rock and roll and rip and tear. Like I mentioned before, please go check out my full Doom Eternal review linked in the description below over on my second channel and give that channel a subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button on this video. If you enjoyed it, subscribe for more tech education and stream guides. I'm Eples Fox, your stream professor, and I'll see you later. Have fun playing Doom. It's worth it.